Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host Lovely Cheese Pizza here. We've got something big brewing right here at the Gentleman's Club and welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto 5 where uh, last time Trevor just went waltzing in here after totally, totally murdering at least one person. <laughs> just caked in blood. Goes walking into the office like, hey, I'm your brand new business partner. And everybody was okay with that, I think. <laughs> it was it was weird. It was it was severely weird. And so I think we're supposed to go in here. Alright. This all seems pretty normal. I'll just let anybody come, you know, waltz their way back here. I think I have made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Sure did. <laughs> just uh, you know. Doing whatever I want. Here we go. This is where we go. Yeah, look at this uh, little deal here. Got stuffed animals and clothing items. I'm surprised that there's not just bottles full of alcohol back there. I feel like, you know, when you're dancing in front of disgusting old men and creepers that at some point you gotta <laughs> probably get drunk yourself a little bit. I have changed my ways, alright? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Well, I killed some people in uh, my friend's apartment, and I just came in here. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. But he's not a guy. He's androgynous. He's just whatever he wants to be. We uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one. What is the big? <laughs> we have to go steal it from Sid Phillips' house. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Oh, shit. Well, that would explain why he was going to run that place, because the guy who was previously running the place is uh, now pushing up daisies. You know, a uh, 80 system took him off the menu. Oh damn, this is the place? Like You've got to be kidding me. Like. Dude, this place is huge. Clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. All right, well, let's uh, switch on over to the dog here and see what the hell it is that... He's got planned. <laughs> Watch, he's probably getting chased by the cops again. Drive to the airfield. Alright. That seems fair. I could only imagine what kind of conversation these two are gonna have. You'll get twenty percent of two hundred million. A maximum of two hundred million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. 
Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a Dude's not sitting on it. Dude, that, this guy is facilitating some serious shit. The dude deserves his cut, for sure. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million. We're down on Alta Street, coming up on the back of the bank. That's what I like to hear. I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No, seriously. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was, but now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's off to me. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, is he? I mean, he's been parts. he's been out of the picture for what, like ten years at least. A pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid. With respect, he's changed. All right, he writes now, emails. He's educated him. Just went thirteen thirty. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. So we want to bust Brad out of the clink, huh? And Michael's obligated, I will, is he? But I gotta talk to you too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael and come back to me. Oh, fine. That's Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Okay. Get in the helicopter, or do I go back and check out what Michael wants? I say we. I say we check out what Michael's doing. Because obviously, he's going to get in the chopper. I don't think he's just going to stand there for the next 30 years. You know, waiting for us to do it for him. I think he'll probably take care of matters on his own. I want to scope the back of this bank. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me though. No? But well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are, bro. But he's got, he's got an automatic weapon and a face protector. I mean, that that makes him worth at least two men. Okay, so I really didn't necessarily need to go over there. <laughs> But hey, I had to make sure no stone was left unturned, you know? The last thing I'd want to have happen is be like, Hey, you forgot to go and check this out first, you fucking idiot. Oh, well, thanks for telling me now, as I'm going directly over it, I think. I don't need to reverse, I'll just get out of your way. <laughs> You know, you got kind of a point there. Just barely gonna have enough time to get there if we're supposed to be there by 1500. And I mean barely. Okay, we got that literally by seconds, I think. Do 
Okay. Fuck are these guys? Get closer. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of lost them a little bit because I'm a little disoriented. Okay, we're kind of going the right way here. Okay, I think we we're we're definitely going the right way here. Oh god. Oh, this is this is the worst. Damn, this is kind of tense. <laughs> this is nuts. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Okay, here we go. At least we're getting faced the right way for this. I would love to know precisely where they're headed. Oh god, okay, they're getting away from him. Okay, we need to go this way. We need to go this way. There. Okay, well, where the hell is this tunnel? I mean, we're definitely headed the right way, which is a good sign, but good lord. Oh, no. No, don't. Don't hit the building. Don't hit the building. I don't need this thing going up in flames. Not just yet. Here they are. Hey, alright. We navigated it. <laughs> as bad as I thought I was at this, we're actually not doing too bad. Oh, okay, so they were they were going to Arcadius. Nice. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're going to need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Nice. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what they say about being 30 seconds late. I gotta shoot you in the face. That's the deal. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. Construction site, where could you be? I see. Um. The cons oh, that's okay. Hold on. Where's a construction site at? I don't see one. Got to be one around here somewhere. Oh boy! No! Oh! Oh God! Okay! Okay! Go up. <laughs> is the name of that building Tinkle? It is. <laughs> it really is. And, oh, it's over here. There's a construction site right here. Is this what you're looking for? STD construction. Oh, wait. This ain't the metro tunnel. We'll keep looking. Okay. So it's not that one. Well, how many other construction sites are there going to be around here? Oh, well, there's definitely one right over here. This looks like it could be what we're looking for. Potentially. What about this guy? This has to be it. 
This looks a lot more likely to be that than not. Oh. Eh, it's probably this. <laughs> it's probably this giant construction site that we just gloss right over. This guy? Yeah. Hello? Is it... Is it... Oh! I'm stupid. <laughs> My bad. Did not see that that was on the, uh, the mini-map there. You know, the thing where you should be looking for that. Okay. Alright. Going around the building. Yep, it's... Well, I'm doing it. Good. Alright, well, now we can move back over to the guy that's not making me fly things, because God knows I'm not great at those. Take Franklin to his house? Wh why? <laughs> hey man, if we're going to be pulling this job, I at least got to have my PSP for a little while. I got to, you know, fill in the dead space with something. Oh! Okay. And then there's Trevor. Yeah, Trevor, get it done. Hey, Willie? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA, and your family, man. You know what, I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, alright? Fuck it, I'ma ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, alright? Just later. I totally forgot about this house. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking we were going to go back into the ghetto and, you know, pop into that little tiny room, but I forgot that he just has a house now, like a really nice one up in the hills. Surveying the score. All right. So with that, does this mean... But what does it all mean, Basil? So we've got a Strangers and Freaks deal, it looks like, and then just the deal. Yeah, another Michael mission. So it's it's obviously not the heist then. At least not that I'm aware of. Usually those those just have a straight up H on it, don't they? I kind of I've forgotten because it's been a little while since we've done one. So this is what I'm thinking. Um, what I'm thinking. We're gonna stop right here. Sorry for the lack of dialogue. Really, there was a lot of uh, a lot of exposition there. I was just kind of really wanting to peg in on that and listen. So when we come back next time, it looks like we've got a couple different things we can do. We've got. A little strangers and freaks things, that's usually what the question marks are with Trevor, and those generally end up being funny or ridiculous. And then we've got another mission with Michael before uh, everything goes belly up, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. So we'll uh, check those things out next time. But until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you next time. So until then, my friends, thanks, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye, guys. Uh. Yeah.